On February 22, 2022, the country watched in horror as the story of a personal injury attorney who jumped a curb while driving in her car to intentionally plow into pedestrians and hopefully kill them hit the news. And the country was even more shocked when the police interrogation became public and the disturbing confession and interaction between her and the police showed us more of her bizarre behavior. First, I want to thank Universal Tea with Marie for covering this story on her YouTube channel. I first learned of this story watching her video, and I couldn't get this story out of my head. Now it's been about seven months since Beatrice Bijot was arrested, and I just want to give some background information on Beatrice, and we'll follow up as more developments become available as her case moves forward. And before I go further, I must also note that Beatrice's current arrest photo looks very different from her previous photos. I had to double check more than once to make sure prior pictures posted of her were actually her. Police estimated Bajo made no attempt to slow down or break with her car traveling between 30 and 35 miles per hour. After impact, police said Bajo put her car in reverse at a high rate of speed. Police said Bajo put the car in drive and accelerated toward a man who tried to stop her. He jumped out of the way. According to the arrest report, a witness followed the car as it sped away. Police tried to pull it over, but Bajo kept going. Police said she pulled into the parking lot of the Stewart Police Department and told officers that the voices in her head told her to kill the people, end quote. It was also reported that Beatrice stated that she also thought about killing her niece that day who lived with her part-time. She is currently being held without bond and has pleaded not guilty to the charges. The video of the police interrogation of Beatrice was made public and it was disturbing but also very sad to see this young woman who the police found out was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. Here is a short audio clip from that interrogation. How far did you go in school? I'm an attorney. You're an attorney? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I've been hearing voices telling me to kill myself and to kill other, other people. When did that start? I have a gun at my parents' house right now. I got diagnosed with bipolar and schizophrenia. Okay, when was that? 2019. Okay. And it ruined my life. What are my charges? Uh, probably four counts of aggravated battery and uh, another count of aggravated assault. I attempted to murder that woman. Well, confer with the state attorney and they don't want to charge attempted murder right now. But if you're adamant, you know, you can always explain that to your defense attorney, but I'm sure they're willing to. No, I want the attempted murder charge. You want the attempted murder charge? Yeah. Well. Because I tried to kill her and I would like to walk out of here right now. The two don't go hand in hand, okay? What? You can't try to kill people and then just walk free. We fed you a I can try and kill you. That's not going to go well. Yes, it, it will go well. Yeah. No, I'm not going to sit down. I'm not playing I'm not going to sit down. I'm not playing games either. All right. No. I don't want to hurt you. I'm going to kill as many people as I can. That's not going to happen. Okay? Listen, Beatrice, please sit down. We're being very nice to you. We're being very nice to you. you No one wants to hurt you. If we charge you with the attempted murder, would you sit down? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Then sit down. Okay. All right. Thank you. Take care of it. We'll change change the charge. Can I have my phone so I can delete my social media? This interrogation was hard to listen to. Beatrice seems very disconnected and still in a state of violence. Here's another clip. Since I got diagnosed with schizophrenia and bipolar since 2019. Did. So they've been telling you to hurt others for since 2019. Have you ever hurt anybody before? No. No? Today was the first day? Today was the first day. Okay. But they've told you to hurt people before. Why was today different? Did someone die today? Um, I will tell you three people got hit by your car. uh, And one of them is going up to Longwood for treatment. I don't know what their status is. Um, I'm really sorry. I believe you. Um, I believe you. I think you're a good person that has some bad things going on, and I'd like to get you some help. In this last clip, 
Beatrice is much calmer and does show remorse for her crime. At the time of this incident, Beatrice was managing partner and litigation attorney at Bajol Law Firm. She graduated with a Bachelor of Business Administration, gaining practical experience in international business from Florida International University in 2012. And she obtained her Doctor of Law degree in 2016 from Nova Southeastern University, Shepherd Broad College of Law. She was also a real estate broker with the Bajot Group. She has since been disbarred. Beatrice was very active on social media, promoting her business and other positive content, highlighting other successful female attorneys, and many photos of herself as well. Here is an audio clip of an ad for her law firm on TikTok. Have you been in an accident? Are you experiencing pain and suffering, mental anguish, loss of enjoyment of life, medical bills, property damage? I'm attorney Beatrice Bijou, managing partner and head of litigation at the Bijou Law Firm. Here at my law firm, we routinely secure six-figure settlements and we go against the medical conglomerates, insurance companies, and corporations to get the compensation our clients deserve. If you have been in an accident, contact me at 844-9-HANDLE. That's 844-942-6353. Beatrice's sister, Tassa Espady, and boyfriend, Kyle, at the time of the incident, also spoke with the police, and their conversations with the police were also made public and helped to shed a little more light on who Beatrice is and why this happened. Here is a short audio clip of her sister, which will be followed by a short clip from her boyfriend at that time. We're from Stewart, born and raised. We lived in the same house for 20 years. Are you on Palm Beach Road? Palm Beach Road, yeah. So we're from Stewart, born and raised. Um, I didn't know anything about this. I just know that my sister, she suffers a mental condition. Um, she graduated from, she graduated from Nova University. With and a lot of With a lot of degree. She has a law firm in Fort Lauderdale. She had, um, she's been hospitalized multiple times. She's also been hospitalized in Texas. I've flown to Texas. How did she live in Texas? And we were all kind of wondering how that happened. Um, she just ran up, got up, and said, I'm moving to Texas. She literally, I guess that's one of the signs of your illness. Sometimes you just do like random things. Yeah. So she randomly got up and moved to Texas. And I've been mostly the person that's been behind my sister this entire time. So I've flown out to Texas many times, Dallas, Texas. I've been to the hospital during COVID. They were we were able. I wasn't able to see her, but I had to fly out get her car because she was having um, episodes. So I I think this is another episode because she posted on Facebook that she was well. She's in a relationship, so she posted on Facebook that she's engaged. So I was like, okay, cool. Like, he's cool, they, they have a good relationship. I don't know what happened, but I know that she's having a mental um, episode, and Jill, right now, she needs to be in, like, a stable place, but... So she's been, like, what happened today is out of character for her? So, <clears throat> she told me the other day, wow, um, um, so I just, um, do you, you know about her condition? Uh, she, she told us a little bit, um, but I didn't actually get to talk to her all too much today. Okay, did she, like, from her voice, she said that she was trying to kill them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? That, that I heard, yeah. She said it to the... I, yeah, she said it multiple, multiple times. Did she know these people? Um, okay. Do you know what she did today? Yes. Yes. He, he you walked this, me through her day? Yes. Um, I was, so this morning I went and saw, I, I've been doing pre-marriage counseling. Okay. I've been seeing a the therapist. Okay. By yourself or with her? Um, she, I gave her the information to call. Okay. And she reached out. She, uh, yes, the, the lady therapist was reaching out to her and they were, you know, 
Good lady to go to premarriage counseling. Okay. She, you know, she's an entrepreneur. She owns a law firm. Yeah. She does consulting. She's highly intelligent. She has her all, you know, her degrees. Uh-huh. You know, and she, you know, she's she knows how to take care of herself independently. You know. Um, but now, from this, uh, <clears throat> so since we've been seeing each other, um, you know, um, I I didn't understand. Um, she had a, a condition okay. with her with her mental health. Beatrice's sister went on to tell the cops more about Beatrice, saying that she did try to unalive herself in the past, that she was going back to school for nursing, she had no major traumatic event recently that she knew of, and that Beatrice had been in and out of the psych ward. She was very smart and she wouldn't hurt a fly. Her boyfriend went on to say that recently she had become jealous of one of his female clients, but called back an hour later after getting upset about it and apologized. He said she also wanted to have a baby and a husband, and they attended church together as well as they were engaged. He met some of the family. He didn't see any signs of wanting to kill anyone from her, but they were together for about eight weeks, and he did hear of some trauma between her and her parents. As I searched the internet for a little more information, I didn't find much, but I did find two posts on Lipstick Alley from people claiming to know Beatrice. I can't confirm or deny if this is true, but I will read these two posts. The first one is by a poster named Haitian One. Well, blank. I used to go to her dad's church. Girl is not looking like she used to. She looks rough. For those of you who remember the story of the girl I beat up and down the street for calling my little brother names, this is the girl. And the next post is from a person named Sci-Fi. I grew up with her and her siblings. She used to be best friends with my sister. I just found out about it today. My mom told me I don't live in Stewart anymore. I hope she doesn't go to prison and they put her in a mental hospital instead. Her father was very abusive to her, her siblings, and their mother. I also found a short video on YouTube that Beatrice did with Legal Link in 2016 featuring her and attorney Scott Newmark of Carner, Newmark, and Cohen where she was promoting her real estate business. Here's a short clip. I've got a fantastic guest this evening. I have <laughs> Beatrice Bijou of the Bijou Group, and I'm really excited to have her. Welcome, Beatrice. Thank you for having me, Scott. It's my pleasure, my pleasure. Excellent. What I want to do first for our audience is let's jump right in. Tell them, please, about your business and what it is that you do. Okay, hello, my name is Beatrice Bijou. I'm team leader at the Elite Real Estate uh, Sales Team the Bijou Group of Real Estate Salesforce, Inc. We're a brokerage uh, based in South Florida, and we specialize in luxury and commercial real estate. So there was a lot to the story of Beatrice Bijou. I will continue to follow this case to see how things are developing and to see what her overall punishment will be. It is so fortunate that there were no fatalities in this case, but I can only imagine how difficult this was for the victims involved and her family. Bloopers. I must also note that Beatrice's current arrest photo looks very different from her previous photos. I had to tuple... double... Police estimated Bajot made no attempt to slow down or break. Police estimated Majo uh, Majo. At the time of this incident, Beatrice was managing partner and litigation attorney at Bajou Law Forum. Beatrice's 